once life had conquered the land, nothing seemed to be able to stop it. For almost another 100 million years, life spread across the world. But one dramatic moment in time would see the virtual extinction of all species. Nowhere on Earth was spared. Across the continents, the fossil record seems to end, only to start again some millions of years later, as life adapted to the changes and the dinosaurs appeared. But before the dinosaurs, there were other animals, now virtually unknown. They were wiped out in a mass extinction. But they did leave behind some evidence of their existence. In South Africa, researchers have to drive far into the wilderness to find evidence of these creatures. They try to build a picture of what that vanished world was like. These rocks are in an area of dry and arid country in South Africa, known as the Great Karoo. This was once a stream bed, about 250 million years ago. In the rocks are the tracks of the strange creatures which ruled the Earth before the dinosaurs. Dr. Roger Smith of the South African Museum has studied these creatures for years. Here's a fantastic trackway of a dinocephalian, and it tells us quite a lot about this, how this animal walked. I'll just pose myself into its tracks and we'll see if we can move like a dinocephalian. The animal that made these tracks was around nine feet, perhaps the length of a Komodo dragon today. These extinct creatures were reptiles, but they had some of the same characteristics that mammals have today. Dr. Smith is fascinated as to why they all became extinct at the same time. We know very little about them. It is thought they laid eggs, as do reptiles today. Yet for millions of years, they seem to be the dominant animals on the Earth. Some were herbivores and some predators with large and sharp fangs. Mammal-like reptiles are not as well known as the dinosaurs. Perhaps it would become as quite a surprise to know that there was such a diversity of very large, very successful, very well adapted animals, and in fact, uh, animals from which uh, um, our, formed our human ancestors way back, that they were around at least 50 million years before the dinosaurs. So that the dinosaurs weren't the first ruling reptiles, in fact, of the planet. And then suddenly they vanished, but their legacy was crucial for the planet. This is the world about 250 million years ago. Plants were abundant, so too was oxygen. Amongst the strange mammal-like reptiles, one is thought to be the distant ancestor of mammals. Now the therapsis are now completely extinct, but Around 250 million years ago, they, they uh, were the most common, the most widespread animal on the land surfaces of, 
of uh, both Gondwana and of uh, Laurasia, that whole supercontinent of Pangaea. These were the ruling animals at that time. Now, the other uh, interesting thing about these animals is they were tra a transitional form between reptiles and mammals. So they were neither true reptiles nor were they proper mammals yet. This was almost a crossroad in evolution. It's this creature called a cynodont, which is believed to be the ancestor of mammals. While this little lizard-like creature is thought to be the ancestor of dinosaurs. The moment when 95% of species went extinct is marked clearly by a boundary line where the rocks seem to change. Below that line, there was rich and varied life. Above, virtually nothing. Moist conditions. They are this bluish gray color, uh, typical of uh, soils which are almost permanently saturated with high water tables and cool conditions. As we pass through the boundary, through the extinction event, we go into these dark reddish-brown mud rocks. Here, at the same time, it is also possible to see color changes in the rocks. The geological evidence seems to point towards a massive rise in global temperature, also a sudden decrease in oxygen levels. These are the fossilized remains of animals clustered around what Dr. Smith calls the last pool. He thinks that this may have been a drying up water hole which attracted many that were desperate to drink. But as the water dried, they could not move away and died of thirst. We would look at layer by layer through up to that boundary and of, of uh, all the Permian fauna only about 5% uh, actually got through. So this was 95% extinction of the animals and of the plants that were around uh, on the land surface at that time. And this is being backed up by similar work being done in the oceans, but it's a very, very catastrophic, in fact, the, the most catastrophic cat uh, uh, mass extinction that, we, that we've ever recorded. In this fossilized picture of death, it seems almost as if life had gone full circle. It had survived fire and ice and had grown after the rise of oxygen, seeming to end when once again the climate changed. Out of death can come life. The world changed, and from that change came the mighty lizards that were to rule the planet for tens of millions of years. But their reign too came to an abrupt end. Finally, it was the mammals who came to dominate the miracle planet. <laughs>